<laughs> Sci-fi! Yeah! Come on. All right. Sci what? <laughs> Sci fucking fi. What? Congratulations on your brand new kick-ass record. The latest is not quite brand new, but it's the, the latest. Yes, thank you, man. Yeah, we're really proud of uh, what we've accomplished with this and taking a couple steps forward as far as musicianship and writing and drumming and singing and playing and everything, man. We're stoked about it. We're really excited. Are you uh, under a lot of stress, under a lot of pressure? No, no, I don't think so. I think that... Um, you know, since Ashes, the past three records have been written pretty much, hey, we like this, this is what, you know, makes the hair on our arms stand up, this is what gets our dick hard, so this is what we're going to put out there, and people are feeling that. Sweet, sweet. And uh, congratulations on your uh, your engagement to Marta. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, I'm a, man. I'm a lucky dude. You are. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Thank you, man. New family in the making. Yeah, absolutely. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay, let me see if I can do this correctly. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the fucking box? <laughs> What's in the box? What are you talking about? Seven? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that scene. Right, right, right. Somebody by the name of Scotty suggested that I, that I try that. Um, Scotty from Cursed? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Winfield. What's in the box? <laughs> And uh, now, to be crystal clear, there will never be any violence reunions. That is, because that is, <laughs> that is done, right? Uh, yeah, not with me or Robin Ball. Okay. We're doing this. Right. You know, right. We, did, we did the violence thing. We put it to bed pretty good. You know, we had a good send off. We did a reunion for a few years. And, and um, man, this is what we're doing, you know? So, yeah, no, no, that work. Cool. Right on. I'm not cool, but, you know, at least it's. Dude, man, nobody wants to see that man these days, you know? It's, they just think that they do, they think that they do, but I mean, 10 years ago we said goodbye. Imagine what it would be like now. Yeah, I think it's for people of a certain age. For sure. You know? I mean, watch the DVD. That's you know? it. Watch the old stuff on YouTube. It's so readily available. Remember us how we were. Right. Buy the machine head stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's relevant and current. Buy it, buy it, right? Absolutely. Now we talked. Now last time I talked to you was when you uh, played Lamb God, Trivium, and Gojira, and we uh, we had talked to Gojira before we talked to you, and they were like starstruck to be playing with Machine Head. Have you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. They were just oh wow man, just like oh. Do you get starstruck any anymore? Absolutely. Still? Absolutely. We um um and it's more with I mean. Yeah, I mean, I played, I got the jam with Geezer Butler a couple months ago, and, you know, being around Glenn Hughes and, you know, uh, did the Dine Dash, and there's a bunch of people down there. I, I, I'm meeting a lot of sports stars these days, so I mean, to have a dude like Randy Johnson, you know, emailing me saying he's going to come out and, you know, take pictures and stuff, and it's like, okay, Randy Johnson, come on out, you know, <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I definitely do. I think the Gojira thing was their new, they were on their first record and they were coming out, they were just a star star with Lamb of God and just everybody, and they're like, oh, Jesus, you know, and, and now I think they're a little more seasoned now and they're a little more amazing band. Like, Gojira is so cool and I think that um, they're, that, that freshness and that, that, you know, not really adolescent, but really youthful, you know, energy to be like, yeah, this is, you know, awesome. Everybody's so kind of jaded these days. And so to see that, it's really, it's really cool. And uh, now you're playing Warfield again. Is this your second or third time playing Warfield? This is my second time. We played here with Arch Enemy in 2007. And uh, yeah, this is really fucking cool to be here playing. You, uh, you remember what your first big show here as a, as a fan was? Oh, shit. Uh, I think I saw Exodus with M.O.D. and maybe Forbidden up on that show? I'm not sure, but it was Exodus with Zetro singing. Wow. Oh, man, I think, I think that might have been the first one. Oh, a while ago. Yeah, I'm old, man. Yeah, me and you <laughs> Now, I recently saw The Mentors, uh, they have a new singer. What? And, and well, El Duce is dead. They, I, I'm not fully aware of that. <laughs> and, and, but their, their new singer is sort of like that rock star thing. Is he was in a Mentors cover band, okay. and now he's you know, he plays drums. He's 
about as thick as mentor as El Duce was, a little taller. All right, so they're like the Mentors Express, like the, not not as good, like the Holiday and Express. Oh, they were good, man. Taco played. Bell Express, they're oh, just man, not they, quite as good. They were, well, you can't no, you can't tell me that he's as good as the, the Duce. He's, he's got the all, best. He's got all his vocal stylings down. They were saying they did Donkey Dick and the Four F Club. They did all the everything to a T. I it bet cool. it was awesome to see. I would love to hear the songs. You know, as that's a tribute band to me, so that's pretty. Well, cool. yeah, absolutely, yeah. A tribute to El Duce and the for mighty sure. El Duce for sure. But then I also got a chance to listen to the new Steel Panther. In the same week, I saw the Mentors, and I thought, man, this is this is straight up Mentors <laughs> right here. It is, man. It is. I prefer the first Steel Panther. The, the new one's pretty cool. It's got some great moments on it, and they're hilarious, talented dudes. Man. Very, very really, talented. really fucking great. Yeah. It's almost like a Van Halen meets the Mentors in a way. Absolutely, yeah. Or any any other rapper that's been uh, spitting bitch raps in the last twenty years. Sure, I prefer the Steel Panther. <laughs> and uh, now um, uh, you uh, apparently you got an, an altercation with the guitar of Van many years ago. Do you recall that? Supposedly, he jumped off the stage and attacked you. Oh, he was in that band, uh, like Sister Strange, or um, God, what was the name of that band? Uh, Shit, I don't know. But Kid Blue? No, no, no. I'll remember. It's just I thought, uh, Mr. Hyde. Mr. Mr. Hyde. That was one of them. Mr. Hyde. Yeah, we were we violent, uh, yeah violent did a uh, benefit show and they had played and uh, he was God, he was he was. Doing something to me from on stage, and I told him to, you know, suck my dick. He said, "Whip it out." I threw my cocktail on him, and he jumped off the stage. I caught him. I threw him on the ground, and I had my hand over his throat, and I was poking him on the chest, saying, <laughs> "Whistle, motherfucker, whistle!" <laughs> and he couldn't whistle, so we, you know, I think Sean's shoe was coming in and kicking him in the head, and oh. then everybody hated us. And violence. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. It was pretty violent. Violent. Bygone era. It was pretty violent. Yeah. So after this, you this you did a full U.S. tour. You off to Salome with uh, Kitty, Steel Panther. There's a new hot new chick band called Cherry Bomb, uh, and so many others. What's next after Salome? I, I'm more stoked about playing with System of the Down, Slipknot, and Manson, and Hate Breed, and uh, Trivium, and Lamb of God. But those other bands sound kind of cool too. Oh. Yes. After this. Yeah, 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 after that. Uh, why'd you just mention all the girls, man? <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a Viagra. <laughs> uh, what's next, man? We're doing uh, we're doing an awesome festival run. We're doing uh, headlining a lot of festivals. We're opening for a very big local band, doing five shows with them that we're going to announce pretty soon. And, uh, Man, headlining Hellfest and Wacken, and uh, that's Rodrigo. Hey, Rodrigo. Yeah. Que pasa? You know? Que pasa? Por <laughs> yeah, he's, he speaks Portuguese. I know, I know, I know. It um, sounds Spanish, though. It does. His accent sounds Spanish. He does, man. Yeah. Yeah. Angra. He hangs out with those guys. Does he? He said that he, he well, works with He them. speaks the truth, man. He does. He's they're they're a sick man. I haven't heard of them. They're like, um, you know, like fucking melodic power metal stuff. Awesome. Yeah, we did a South American tour, Sepultura, and he was working it, and we took him. Oh. He's that awesome. Yeah. He's on the ball. He's a whole hemisphere away, and we stole him. Yeah, and he's thankful. He's, we're thankful. He works his ass off. Yeah, he, he's been very, thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you, buddy. Obrigado. Is it oh, don't worry about it. Right, for, thank you for your time. Absolutely, man. Always yeah. a pleasure to uh you have a, a good time from Sacramento. I will. Good time here. I will. And big party after the show. I think so. I think it's the last night of the tour, so we, I saw six bottles of Jim Beam and five bottles of Grady Goose lined up, I think, to start off. So your 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 guys' drink is the, the Red Bull and the Jim Beam thing, right? Stage drink. Oh that's not our drink. Oh, I see. Um, Dave's drink. Rob okay. drinks vodka and Coke. I drink alcohol. Uh, Adam is referred to me as the alcohol dumpster, but uh, more of a whiskey guy these days. Kind of calm down a little bit. Oh, yeah, one last question. What are you drinking? I, I haven't drank any liquor in like seven years, man. I quit drinking. All right. I uh, went driving and drinking and 
Oh, doing all kinds of crazy things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to outrun the cops in my uh, Ford Ranger if they were going to come chase me and shit. I was ready. I was. I ran into some cops and I thought, yep, the they're nitrous, looking for me. The nitrous kicked in. Oh, uh, no nitrous, no oh, nitrous. Shit. I haven't even had a tune-up in over three or four years, man. Remember the nitrous, man. Oh yeah, for sure. You were a union carpenter for a while. I still am. I have my card right here. Really? Yeah. You still pay your dues? I still pay my dues. Oh, wow. Yeah, cool. I do. So uh, unions are still uh, an integral part of American workforce, you think? I think so, man. I think that, you know, just like anything, there's there's corruption and there is uh, misorganization. And it's, you know, kind of a misnomer, you know, the union when they're just not organized. So, um, yeah, I, I, I believe in it. I believe in, I mean, that there's a lot of, a lot of things that are wrong, just as with anything, but, you know, I love my benefits, I love my vacation pay. Yeah, gotta have it. I'm, I'm a machine head, man. I'm not working right now. Right, no, no hammer, no, do you do? I actually install doors and frames and hardware and stuff like that, so it's a screw gun and, you know, aluminum and finish work. You still keep up on the latest tools and? A little bit, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't for a while. I've been on the road for a little bit recording and stuff, so it's it's weird when I put my pouches back on, and it's like, oh, yeah, it wakes up all those muscles that I have right. before getting right. on a ladder. And, um, it's good, man. I mean, I think that working and doing that stuff, I do more stuff around the house and pretty handy. And it keeps you grounded and it keeps you real and uh, do some side jobs for, you know, people friends my mom and you know, people that have, have kind of taken care of my family in the past if they need something done go out and just you know pay it for it so sweet sweet but um well thanks again for all your time absolutely We're looking forward to an awesome show yes we have a great tour we'll see you around. it's the last night no you're going to, to australia all right, right? yes right? Well, yeah 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 i'm sorry yeah. Well, Rodrigo Rodrigo told told us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been talking again. about you for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you gotta pick your head in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right, we just, did all right. we just blow it up here on Capital Chaos? We're all good. We just blew it up here on Capital Chaos. I just blew it up in this chair, so yeah, I'm yeah. get out of here. Oh, I'm congested. Good. I'm missing out. <laughs> Scum! This is Odorous Shurungus commanding you to continue watching Capital Chaos. They support Guar and anal rape and all kinds of wonderful things.